Hello there, this is OneUp Indie, and I just wanted to give you a quick information about fonts, how we can actually make our own pixel font similar to these guys here, and link of course into the description to this site where the legal ramifications are not clear, so I wouldn't be advising you to use those here, but they are kind of a great showcase how um, those 8x8 pixel fonts can actually look like. So without further ado, let's go into two things which are very important to distinguish typeface and font. A lot of times people just say basically this is the same and they are kind of right, but um, just for you, so you see the legal uh, definition, a font is something which qualifies as a computer software or a program. And everywhere on the world, I guess everywhere in the world, those fonts are copyrighted. So you cannot just use them free um, whenever you please, or you cannot just basically use uh, all of them just for free because even though you have them on your computer, just keep that in mind. So the other thing is a typeface and Coca-Cola logo is basically a very, very great example of a typeface. What is a typeface? Typeface is just a thing, a design of lettering. So this is not like one font by itself, but let's sometimes like an amalgamation of different fonts or one and then stylized. And therefore this logo of course is trademarked, so you are copyrighted, you cannot use it at all. And well, this, this, this design thing here is just made so it's more readable and of course then you can distinguish it between other logos. So these are the two things and for example let's say you want to use and make your own font. So you want to just have one of those here. So one of the solutions is for example you can go on to open.gameart.org or just other sites where they give it for free. But here you have the great thing because they just operate under some well, licenses which you see on the left side. This is like a license CC0 which is the best in my opinion. So this is, you can use it without any ramifications. The, the copyright owner just forfeits the, his all rights. So you can do whatever you like with that. Sweet, sweet, sweet. So this is one of the cool things. By the way, King Phoenix does some really great things. So just give it a shout out or just go to his Patreon because his stuff is really, really, really high quality. So here, of course, you have other ones and you can just use them for your own game. Or you're thinking like, hmm, I have a free font which I want to use. For example, here uh, for that thing here, I just have, let's say, for example, A, B, C, D and so on. And I want it to be, let's say, similar to one of those things here. And just be careful because you cannot take the same colors and the same stuff because then maybe you get into copyright infringement also. I'm not sure about this part. So therefore, just keep in mind, do something similar and you should be okay. Or for example here, this is the thing I really, really love. This is Shakedown Hawaii and the font they have made. And this is a custom one for them. Just looks fucking amazing. I love it. And yeah, so this is their whole thing. And therefore, they're pretty much clear concerning their copyright. Or oh, here, let's go. The menu part here. Really, really cool. Just uh, they have like the font by itself with one, two, three, four, five colors, just as stripes. So they're quite distinct. Then with a shadow, which is the black part. And then another kind of padding around those things and then they just stack it together because they are in the end just sprites. So let's go in here and one of the ways you can do that is for example just take a font which you own. So this is very important. So I have here Pepper's Now new. So this one I can use even commercially. But for example if you are and this is very important let's say using Windows fonts and I guess I'm not sure about if they are Windows owned or not. So this is, I guess, Times and Arial. And if you are, for example, using them in, let's say, Microsoft Word and you're producing a poster with that, then you're pretty much fine because you're inside of their system and their license is giving you the allowance to produce some kind of uh, material, logos or whatever within their system. But once you leave it, then you 
you go into territory which is forbidden for you. So let's say for example you are in Game Maker Studio and you use uh, the Windows font, which once again I'm not sure if, if it's Arial and, and Times. If you use them for Game Maker Studio and just then, because this is not a Microsoft product, you don't own or you, you're not allowed to use that. So please don't do that. Just take fonts which you definitely own where it says, hey, it's for commercial use. And then, well, you're pretty much fine. And then maybe you have to, I don't know, give credit to, to the uh, person who did the font. And then you're pretty much fine. And, and so this is how you could do that. You, you, for example, have this font here, which I do in Photoshop. And to make it a little bit more crisp, you have to go under here and none. For example, you can do some interpolation, but I don't want to do that. So... This of course looks better on the outside, but if you want to have it pixel art and crisp, you do something like this. And we just take the B out because I like it. Then we make, let's say, a box where you, we put in the thing so we can align it always to the center. And then we have a little gradient and we just go and take, um, well, mask the whole uh, B. Then we can just copy paste it, bam, and we have nothing. <laughs> we don't have anything. Okay, let's try that again. No. Okay, let's try that again because I'm kind of messing up here. Okay, let's go. Here we go. So, and you have your first, uh, well, font made. And this one, of course, we can just make a shadow or something like this, put it behind, bam, we have our first letter. And this is how you could make your own font. Or if you are, if you have lots of time uh, on, <laughs> if you have the time to make your own fonts, you can just, I don't know, sprite them by yourself. So I don't know, something like this, bam, bam, bam. And we make an ugly, what am I producing? An R which just looks atrocious. But here we go. This is my R. <laughs> you could do something, of course, like this. And then well, you pretty much own the thing because you did it yourself. So hopefully that was of interest to you. And you see that there are some legal ramifications. And please be on the side of, uh, well, of safety and won't be sorry later on. So that was pretty much it. Have a good one. One up indie.